Hello, how are you? Okay, so in this session we're gonna see, we're gonna try to, I'm gonna try to explain uh, why nations fail. The, the, the book uh, from Darren Asimoglu and James Robinson that as you know uh, it was a revolutionary theory when it came out because it basically uh, made us uh, take a different look about uh, development and, and how the different systems have benefited or, or hurt uh, their population. So, entering in grounds, uh, basically uh, their theory is, is about how nations and, and communities developed. And, and, and basically, uh, uh, they, 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 they go through different uh, phases of development and the understanding that the institutions that we created part of that development has to do with the culture that we developed and that has to do with certain elements of the early development of those nations. Okay, so here I'll explain the example of Latin America. And basically, uh, as you know, as the world um, was conquered and, and colonized, Latin America was colonized by, by the Spanish and the Portuguese. And what they introduced was a system of uh, encomienda, where uh, basically, you know, through wars, uh, the newcomers would, uh, would uh, reach power and they would replace the, the leaders of the local culture. And with that, they also introduced new measures of um, uh, how to reign, you know, their territories. And one of them was to charge the population for the use and to live and to produce in those lands. Now the encomienda was uh, highly extracted, as you can see, and that in itself created a way of looking at life, right? So most of, most of the institutions from the colonial days were as well uh, extracted because that was the original model. In fact, uh, in the most populated countries that were colonized, the encomienda, the encomienda was stronger. And with, uh, and with that, the impact on the population and on the culture. So basically, most of our uh, institutions that we created uh, after the colonial days had that in, in the background because that's how our culture was and, and how we behave. And by the way, all of these concepts, you can read them in my book, Partnerships and Networks, that um, you, can, you can download it uh, on my website. Uh, and basically, where I cover that, uh, because you say, well, you know, in, in terms of partnerships and in terms of alliances, um, uh, you know, fighting this uh, extractive mentality is the first uh, step. And so, as I said, uh, basically the book, explains how different areas of the world develop and how different systems have different outcomes. And it gives you also the example of England in the 1600s where, uh, you know, members of the poor class started gaining uh, some, some new grounds where they could work and they could, uh, and, and, you know, the Industrial Revolution came, so they were more entrepreneurs. So there was a, a difference that in the colonial uh, territories because in, in, in Europe, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the common men had more opportunities. So although, you know, it, you know, it would take a long time for that to change, it would change co uh, institutions into a more, um, into a more uh, 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 inclusive type of, uh, of, of, of uh, uh, economy, culture. So with that, um, that's what, uh, that's the main difference uh, was that these different models were introduced and, and people uh, follow the culture. And now, uh, that's what uh, Why Nations Fail, the book, uh, explains, right? So it, it's about institutions and, and how institutions, uh, because they were uh, made up by that model of uh, extractive and extractive model, they, you know, they behave that way. Now, what I introduce in my book, Partnerships and Networks, it's a different view. 
And it has to do, first of all, with, again, knowledge that we've been gaining as, uh, as humanity. And when we started to speak about systems and, and, and system theory, and how system theory started explaining that stakeholders or other groups or you know, could be affected and what affects here can have an effect there. We started understanding that. We probably we took a, a, you know, a larger view. And so we started to see systems as, as a better understanding. And here, you know, there is a scientist uh, uh, that came up with new theories that have had a large impact. Uh, Umberto Madurana, uh, Fritjo Capra, uh, all of those uh, have had in, uh, in system theory and system view you know, of the world uh, have had a, a large impact. And, and, and that evolved in, into corporate social responsibility. And corporate social responsibility relies on being able to map all those stakeholders that you may be affecting by your policies, by your, your operations, or by anything. And the theory there is that the more uh, stakeholders you find, the better your product, the more sustainable your product is going to be because you're going to be able to see those risks or to see those opportunities or to see uh, what you know, partnering with, with the community could bring in. So, and they're also going to see this. So because of that, uh, the antidote uh, for extractive models is something very simple is to map and identify those stakeholders and try to find a common solution for the issues that are, you know, uh, having an effect. Uh, now, the issue is here that that's easier said than done. Uh, it's very difficult for us to change our ways and to become more inclusive. But because of that, I would say that uh, we need to look at, the, uh, you know, this theory and say, what can I change? And as I said, CSR has been a leading actor in this, bringing this theory of uh, mapping the stakeholders and then coming up with a solution for any impact you may have. There is a lot of uh, um, literature on the subject, and, um, and, but it's very simple. But the application, the human behavioral change bit is what is hard to, to find. But uh, I would say that that's my contribution to try to uh, try to improve the situation when you have extracted uh, institutions. So my recommendation is if you are on a board or you are uh, part of an institution, try to bring some in, in, uh, inclusive. Try to see the value of uh, having um, uh, the opinion, uh, the value proposition, or, or the, the issues that others bring. With that you will have a better product, a better strategy, and a better outcome. Um, <clears throat> and that's basically the message from Why Nations Fail in the book. Uh, it's, it's an understanding of how the world has evolved and, 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 applic and applying uh, some of these techniques that we have developed as well uh, could bring a more non, uh, you know, inclusive and non-extractive institution and society so that would be the, the, the lesson learned from the book. I hope it helps. Thank you.